I know that it's easy to, to say, well, the politicians are all corrupt. But then it's a little bit harder to think that a politician who's corrupt also rapes and kills children. I think that's where we have to draw the line. We say, no, that I can't believe. Because if they're doing that, I think everyone has to go through the process that I just described because it's personal. It's, per it's a personal betrayal for everyone. If that's what our world leaders are doing, well, it's really no wonder that the world looks like what it looks like today. It's no wonder that there is so much hunger and poverty in the, poverty in the world and that the resources of the world are being hoarded by a few.